Pluckers, I was sore fingers again with you. Was hopefully another interesting lesson for you. This is uh, Pink Floyd's obviously classic song, Shine on Crazy Diamond. Okay, standard tuning, no capos doing it in the same key as the original recording. Okay, now this is um, a campfire version for a single acoustic guitar. Okay, a very simplified version. Okay, so um, let's get to it. So we're kicking off where the uh, classic intro comes in before the vocals, okay? So, uh, it's this. Okay, so, um, what I'm doing there, it's, it's, if you just play the four strings, that's actually a chord, it's actually called uh, G minor 7th add 6. And what it is, it's the 8th fret of the 4th string, the D string on the 8th fret, 3rd finger, open 3rd string, second string on the sixth fret with the first finger and open top E string and it's just four two three one in that order okay three so four string four string two string three string and then string one okay and what I'm doing is I'm doing a down pick on the fourth string then an up pick on the second string then a down pick on the third string, and then an up pick on the top E string. That gives you a better sound doing this, okay? And obviously the timing that I used on my uh, demo version is not the same as the original record, obviously. There is quite a long period between these phrases on the original record because they've got nice strings synthesizer going on underneath, which fills out the sound very nicely. and. Um, Obviously, if you're playing on your own, it would get a little bit uh, boring <laughs> waiting for the next one. So I speed it up slightly, so less time in between the riffs. Okay. So what I do is I go two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That sort of thing. But you can do it as you want. But I didn't want to leave it too long with big gaps in it okay so what I do is I do two riffs two three four two and then I've done the third one I just play the first three notes okay so it's the fourth string the second string the third string and then I'm into a C chord I'm playing it as a bar chord on the third fret, and then the fifth fret of the fourth, third, and stre uh, second strings are barred with my third finger. You could use three fingers, like that, or a bar. Okay. Same, failing that, if you didn't want to do a bar chord there, by all means, just play a straightforward C chord, simple open C chord. Sounds all right, but it's just a long way from where we are. It's just the distance you have to travel gets the timing a bit tricky, okay? But you could certainly do that. That's fine, but uh, I'm using the bar chord, okay? So, let's do it again, so it's... C. Can you do that riff again, but only the first three notes back to the C. Stop abruptly like bum da, 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 and then it goes this. And what that is it's an F power chord. You only need three fingers really. I'm playing the bottom E string on the first fret. 
first finger and then the third fret of the fifth string and the fourth string with the third finger and pinky you could bar it if you wanted to All right. just those three strings and it's like and you slide it up two frets to a partial G minor okay so it's and into a G minor okay so up to that point another riff again but only the first three notes again to a C and then the riff again but this time we're going to an E flat unfortunately not easy if you don't play bar chords this is going to be extremely difficult this one <laughs> okay so I'm playing a bar chord on the sixth fret and then the eighth fret of the fourth third and second strings it's the same chord as the C, but up on starting on the 6th fret bar. So the 8th fret of the 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings with 3 fingers or a single. Okay. So after you come out of that first F to G minor. C. Riff. First three notes and then an E flat. Then we go down to a D7. So that's like a, a bar on the fifth fret, first finger, and then the seventh fret of the fourth string, third finger, and seventh fret of the second string with the second finger. Right, so you've got E flat, D7. And then G minor, okay, so let's just get up to that point. So from the beginning. Okay, you can leave that gap as long as you want, okay. G minor, which is far as we got. Now we go to C minor, keeping the bar on that third fret, go to a C minor, back to G minor, and we've got this chord, okay, which is a D7 sharp 9. Okay, so C, G minor to C minor back to G minor, you can arpeggiate if you want, or to strum it, and then a single chord on this D7 sharp 9, and this is basically, first finger is playing the 4th fret of the 4th string, the D string, second finger is playing the 5th fret of the 5th string, the A string, third finger is playing the 5th fret of the 3rd string, and Pinky is playing the 6th fret of the 2nd string and all you're doing is strumming from 5 down to 2 you're not hitting the bottom E string you're not hitting the top E string Okay? you're just doing that from 5 down to 2 ok so let's go up to that point ok so here we go E flat, 
minor, to C minor, C minor, back to G minor, D7 sharp 9. Okay, and then we're into the verse. And the verse is relatively straightforward, starts on G minor. Remember when we were young. So it's a G minor bar chord, third fret bar, fifth fret of the fifth string and the fourth string. Okay, remember when we were young. Then we go to an F sharp major. So it's an F sharp major chord, second fret bar, major shape. You shall like the up to B flat sixth fret major shape. So it's G minor. Remember when we were young. F sharp. You shall like a B flat. And then we go to the E flat again, what we did earlier. Shine. Now to a D minor, fifth fret bar chord, minor shape. Shine on, that's on D minor, C minor, down two frets. You crazy B flat, and we can do B flat, we can do B flat like this, or B flat like that. So it's shine on, you crazy F diamond. So that's from the verse beginning again. So remember G minor, F sharp, U sharp, B flat, song, E flat, shine C minor, D, but B flat, U crazy, down F diamond. Right, let's go through that once more. Remember we were young. The sun shining on you, crazy diamond. And then what we do is we lead up to the G minor again from the air. Just play that second on the bottom E string, and then up to the G minor again for the second bit, which is exactly the same. Now there's look in your eyes, F sharp. Because it's B flat, so B flat, one down, D minor, C minor, B flat, F minor. Okay, got that? So, do you want to do the whole thing up to that point? Okay. go to the bridge section sort of thing and we go up to G minor again and this is a rundown on G minor where you and it goes diamond you were caught in the grass fire of children all right now this is a rundown so I'm playing a simple G minor now okay I find it easy to do it this way barring the first three strings on the G third fret there and the fifth fret of the fifth string and fourth string with the other two fingers okay then what we do we go down to um, a uh, D augmented okay so what we do there from the G minor shape what we do is we take the, the pinky off and put your second finger on the fourth fret of the D string the fourth string 
okay and I'm just playing from five down to two really right so you record in the grass my child and starving then we play a G minor seven which is just keeping this third finger where it is on that fifth fret of the A string and just barring the first four strings with the first finger five down to one this time okay so it's G minor G minor seventh and then we play a C ninth okay and that is a bar on the first three strings with the third finger third fret first finger is playing the second fret of the fourth string and pinky is playing the third fret of the fifth string five down to one C9 okay so it's G minor D augmented G minor 7 C9 and that's you were caught in the grass fire of childhood and study blown on steel breeze okay then we come to the final bit of the bit the final part of this vocal bit and we go to E, uh, e flat now we go back to the E flat chord that's that chord again 6th fret bar 8th fret on the 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings right come on you target full far away laughter and this is a diminished okay so it's E flat G diminished okay or you could call it B flat diminished if you want it's got various names this flat like diminished E flat G diminished or B flat diminished so that's first fret uh, sorry first finger first finger second fret fourth string D string second finger second fret second string third finger third frets third string and pinky third fret top E string you can either play it there or you could play it um, you could play it there also three frets up but I think it sounds better there okay so play it like that I think okay so E flat come on you target for far away laughter okay then we go to the B flat again come on you stranger you legend is a D minor bar chord okay so you've got E flat come on you target for far away laughter come on you stranger you uh, legend is D minor legend you martyr and that's that martyr is a D7 we played a D7 earlier bar in the fifth fret as you're already playing the D minor on the fifth fret bar you just need to change your fingering slightly keep the bar on the fifth fret and let this third finger stay where it is just take this second finger off and pinky off and put your pinky on the seventh fret of the second string as we did earlier and you've got a D7 so you've got E flat G diminished B flat D minor, D7, and then back to the G minor. And that's the last line of the, uh, the vocal. So it's come on, you target, you far away laughter. Come on, you stranger, you legend, you mother, you shine. And what I did was a little mini pause there. And then the riff, the first three notes of the riff again. And back to the C again. the F to G slide and then you can go into the next verse and the next chorus sort of thing mix and match sort of thing okay well I hope that makes sense to you if not let me know and we'll uh, try and clear any anomalies up for you so see you in the next lesson bye for now